Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today we will be looking into some dogman sightings from Wisconsin. But before we get started, I would like to remind everyone that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be posting a new video of sighting reports. Also, if you have the time after this video, jump over to teesprings.com forward slash doors forward slash those dash endless dash mysteries where you can get you something nice and help support our channel at the same time. So now let's get into the sighting reports then. This first sighting comes out of Racine County, Wisconsin from October the 7th of 2020. The witness says that it was his birthday and that he was out scouting a piece of public land with him being in Racine County, saying that he was zigzagging through the swamp while looking for deer sign for the up coming season. He was seeing some tracks and finding a few bedding areas, but nothing that made him too excited. With him saying that he thought it was a little strange that he hadn't bumped any deer. Since the wind was hitting his face and that he was creeping very slow, being as quiet as he could, so he says that he kept moving further into the swamp, where it started to turn into a dangerous bog. Saying at this time, he started to parallel the danger zone, until he hit where the swamp started transitioning back into timber, with him finding a deer trail that also followed the transition area. So he started following the trail. He had gone about a hundred yards looking for rubs, which would tell him if there was a big buck in this area. Hoping that there would be signs of it coming out of the swamp into the timber. Now as the witness was looking for these signs, he says that he suddenly felt a very creepy feeling. So he says that he just kind of shook it off. Then he went back to following the trail while watching for the signs, saying that he went about another 20 yards or so when this strange creepy feeling hit him once again, saying at this time he just stopped and started looking around the area. This is when he says that he saw something moving, that it was blackish gray in color, with it looking to be at least six foot tall, saying that it was moving very fast from the timber to the swamp area, where it looked to have entered into a patch of super thick brush, with the witness saying, just as he was asking himself, what was that? He heard something that sounded to be around 75 yards from him, saying that it sounded like a very, very large dog as it was growling, barking, and giving off a loud sounding roar that the witness said made him instantly terrified. With the witness now being scared after seeing a strange creature and hearing the growling in a loud roar, the witness pulled out his pocket knife, being the only thing that he had on him to protect himself. That's why I never go into the deep woods without at least my shotgun. Most of the time I carry bear spray as well. You never know just what you might run into. At this time the witness started to back out slowly until he came back up to the road. Then he says that he started running and didn't let up until he hit his truck. With the witness now being back in his truck, he says that he thought about walking over to the house across the road to ask if they had ever seen or heard something strange in this area. But he says that he decided not to due to the fact he didn't want anyone to think he was a nut job. So he says that he just left 
The witness has hunted since he was nine years old, and that he is twenty-seven now, with him saying that he knows it wasn't a coyote or a raccoon or any other animal that is said to be around this area. He says that it, he even looked up every cougar sound that he could find, even though it's said not to exist in this area. But he has good friends that tells him different. That they have seen them here, with him trusting them very much. But not even those sounds could compare to the noises he heard that day. He says that he has never been scared of anything in the woods, but he also knows that there is not supposed to be a six-foot-tall, blackish-gray, upright-walking animal in Racine County, Wisconsin, saying that he is still confused about the whole thing, and for the first time in his life, he has become scared of the forest. So I wish he had seen more of the details on this creature. I can't truly say that it was a dog man, but if it was the same creature that he saw barking and roaring, then it sounds like he might have seen one. So what do you think on this one? Drop me a comment down below. Also hit that like button. It truly does help our channel out. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. So this next sighting also comes out of Wisconsin from August of 2008. The witness states that his wife and him were driving back to their cabin that is in the North Woods. They were returning from visiting with friends in town saying that it was a very hot, muggy summer night, but was starting to cool down fast, which made it start to get very foggy. With the road that they were on traveling through about a half a mile of spruce bog, then going uphill to where the farm field was on the right, with hardwoods being on the left side. Now the witness says that he was in his mid-fifties at the time of this sighting, and that he didn't believe in these types of things. But what he was about to see changed his mind. I know it would have mine. What came out of the fog from the farm field going from the right to the left was a very strange creature. With this creature being eight to ten feet off the ground, saying that this creature was covered with fur, that it looked like a person that might have jumped off of a trampoline while having their arms outstretched in front of them, while having their legs bent as well, saying, however, it was upright. He knows it wasn't a coyote or a wolf, but that it did look to be a cross between a man and some kind of canine while saying that this creature had pointed ears and a large snout, with the witness wife saying later that this creature reminded her of the Egyptian god, the one with the dog's head but more furry. If I'm right, I think that would be Anubis, but I'm not 100% sure. So if it is Anubis, drop a comment down below and let me know if that's right or not with the witness saying next that this thing landed flat on its feet, no more than 20 feet away from his wife's van, right in front of them, said the witness, while the craziest thing was that once this creature landed, it jumped away like that of a kangaroo flying back off into the thick fog with its arms still sticking straight out in front of this thing, with the witness and his wife saying that this creature didn't act or look like a canine that they have ever seen or heard about, saying that his wife stopped the van as soon as they saw this creature, 
once this creature had jumped back into the fog. The witness says that they just looked at each other with a look upon their face which asked the question, did we really just see that? While also saying that another weird thing about this sighting was that they both felt as if this thing wasn't from our world mainly due to it did not move naturally to them, which seemed to give them this feeling, with the witness saying next that they don't tell a lot of people what they saw that night, because most of the people that they have told don't believe them or even want to believe that they saw what they did that night but that he did tell one of his good friends about the sighting who didn't laugh at him because he said when he was a small child, his father, who was a logger at the time, used to tell him stories of other loggers seeing these creatures, which they called dogmen out in the woods in this area, saying that he had his wife with him throughout this sighting and that they can talk to each other about what they saw that night. But that it must really be difficult for someone to see these things alone, wanting to tell and explain what they saw to other people, with most not even believing them. So he says that he was glad to have someone next to him, watching and seeing what he was. I would say that is true. People who witness these creatures together does seem to fare better than someone by themselves. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that like button. Also, if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And if you have the time, jump on over to teesprings.com forward slash stores, forward slash those dash endless dash mysteries, where you can find some nice t-shirts and other things just for yourself. Get you something nice and help support our channel at the same time. So until next time, have a great day and thanks for watching those endless mysteries.